This could be a chess match tonight. We have two very smart teams that tend to make great decisions. And that's the value of experience. You know what you're good at and you limit your mistakes. It's hard to fool a person who sees it all. Let's check out Milwaukee's starting lineup. At forward, it's the talented Giannis and Middleton. Wesley Matthews out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. And then for the Brooklyn Nets, Irving and Curry, they man the backcourt together. Ben Simmons is out there with Kevin Durant. And it's Claxton in at the center position. Here we go. Tip-off goes to Milwaukee. And here is Ana Kumpo. The shot comes out. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Outside Irving. Pass to Durant. There's the three. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. The confidence that Durant has and his three-point shot is something special. He doesn't doubt his selections at all. Well, even after it appeared that there was a falling out, Kyrie Irving remains a Brooklyn net. Now, I suppose cooler has prevailed, but I wouldn't be surprised to see Irving on the move here in the near future. So it's Brooklyn now. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. Pass to Durant. Here in the first, a little over a minute played so far. And it's slammed in by Durant. Okay, normally the guy is a sleeper, but those were two loud points there by Kevin Durant. Simmons against Honor de Kumpo. Lays it up and banks it in. Just taking it right to the rim. And no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. And I love the way he played downhill on that drive. Love the attack mentality in a close game. Here's Durant after the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. Shot left block. Honor to Kumpo with the block. Heads up defense by Giannis. His ability to anticipate the shot pays off with the block. Outside Holiday. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. Called in by Curry. For Brooklyn, they've gone two of three from the floor. Irving finds Curry. Back to Irving. Over Holiday, and that one's good. Irving. There's such a great pace to Kyrie's game. That mid-range jumper, look, it's one of the best in the game. Pass to Ana Kumpo. Here's Matthews. Takes the three. Hits the trifecta. It's all knotted up. Hey, good to get him going right away. I mean, those are the shots that really boost confidence. It makes a difference for them if he can establish his three-point shot as a weapon. Now here's Irving. Curry, count that bucket. Ooh, that's a clever pass there by Kyrie. Getting the ball to the guy for the better look. Milwaukee has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Middleton against Durant. Pass to Ana Kumpo. Here's Matthews. Durant pulls it in. That's the shot they wanted. It just didn't fall. Tough to watch those miss. I'm sure they'll convert the next chance. Irving, that's good. Give some love to KD there, making the unselfish play. The Bucks have gone three of six from the floor. You know, and where the Bucks seem to dominate every year is on the glass, particularly at the defensive end. Number one in the league the last four seasons. Lopez passes to Middleton. And the Bucks hit again from deep. Don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. The Nets with the lead. Outside Irving. And again, it's Brooklyn. 
And Grant, I guess for the Bucks, hey, you can't teach size. And they're good fundamentally as well, B.A. I mean, they block out, they fight to maintain position. If you're going to beat them, it probably won't be with second chance points. And so it's Milwaukee with it. After the basket by Brooklyn. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. And another three for Milwaukee. Now, if you're the defense, you can't allow Middleton to heat up out there. I mean, he can be so efficient from long range. Outside Simmons. Over on an Akumpo. Powered down after the assist led him to the lane. Yeah, the playmaking skills of Simmons are elite. The pass-first attitude he brings is what helps tie the team together. On an Akumpo, a screen on Irving. And there's the lob. And got us with the jam. I'll tell you what, it's good to be his age. Yeah. I don't have memories like that at my age, though. <laughs> Brooklyn calls timeout. And as we head into this break, the players have an opportunity to replenish their energy with Gatorade as they prepare to go into the final stages of this ballgame. Absolutely. Over the course of a game, not to mention over the course of a season, you have to stay hydrated. If you don't, it's amazing how much slower your body is to bounce back. It can have a serious effect on performance, no question. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. O'Neal, he's checked in for Ben Simmons. Warren comes in for Durant. Harris is checked in for Curry. And it's Mills in for Irving. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Portis, he's checked in for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Connaughton comes in for Middleton. Allen, he's checked in for Matthews. And it's Hill in for Drew Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Mills for three. Count it. One for one to start the game. You can't lose a shooter like him on the court. The ball will find its way to him, and he will drill a three each time. Lopez finds Portis. Connaughton with the ball. Pass to Allen from outside the arc. And another three for Milwaukee. <laughs> this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Outside Mills. Tries the nine-footer. And the Nets tack on two more. <laughs> they keep trading punches. Both teams in a groove early. You have to think at this point the winner will be the one to score. Oh, it's good! <laughs> the buzzer, that is how you finish it. Whoa! The heave to beat the buzzer. Woo. Yeah, that's one in a hundred type shot. But hey, that is why you just throw it up there. Well, it's been a high-scoring competitive game through the first quarter of play. Bucks ahead. They lead by one. Stay with us now as we get set to bring you quarter number two after this. And getting it going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for Milwaukee. Brooklyn trailing. We've got Joe Harris. Royce O'Neal is out there with Nicholas Claxton. Then it's T.J. Warren, and it's Mills in at the point. That's the Nets five as we get into the second quarter. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. First personal foul. And when you're trying to slow down a top scorer, often the game plan is to get physical. Grant, you would know better than anybody. What's it like in the trenches here? Well, B.A., it's interesting. I mean, it can wear on you. It's a mental challenge. When you're in the trenches trying to slow down a great offensive player, it really becomes a battle of wills. You have to stay focused. You have to be disciplined. And most importantly, you just cannot take a playoff and allow a great player to get going. And that one falls for Warren. It's tough not to like a hard-working player like T.J. Warren. I mean, he gives his team a lot of effort and is a reliable points producer for him. Giannis Antetokounmpo has checked in for Lopez. And so Warren nails them both. And so it's Milwaukee with it. They trail by one. 
Honor to Kumpo, the pass to Portis. Mills against Hill. Pass to Honor to Kumpo. His fourth make in five tries. A solid start for him. Using his size to his advantage, Giannis is a handful to deal with close to the rim. And last season, Giannis passing Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as the Bucks' all-time leading scorer. He wants to finish his career in Milwaukee, so that total bound to grow. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Time now to hear from our reporter, Allie LaForce. Well, guys, the continuity for the Bucks is a strength. Chris Middleton said, quote, we've been through every type of situation, so you know what to expect. There's no need to worry about failing because you know what you need to do. Brian, some call it corporate knowledge. Well, key aspect when it comes to NBA dynasties. Thanks, Allie. Hill against Mills. Pass to Warren. Over Connaughton. And too long on the shot. And Grant, both Giannis and Kareem dominated the paint. But they get it done differently. Yeah, that they do. Kareem, possibly the best ever in the post. Whereas Giannis might be the most dominant slasher and driver in league history. Now Harris. But no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Pass to Warren. Screen by Claxton. And the Nets tack on two more. Then put your head down and go to work. That's what they need to do. Yeah, when the game is up for grabs like this one has been, it's all about the attention to detail. The people upstairs in Brooklyn have been making some very interesting moves trying to put together a championship caliber team. Are those big decisions by the Nets front office difficult to deal with as players? You know, some guys can ignore the politics, but I'm sure others do have questions at the end of the day, though. These guys just want a ball. And ultimately, I think they just roll with the punches. This is the free throw. RJ, not too many teams are more willing to make bold front office moves than the Nets. And we've seen it for a while. You had the Durant acquisition, the Ben Simmons trade. Brooklyn is never afraid to go all in to make a run for a championship. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. Drew Holiday comes in for Hill. good on the second you know for this Bucks team they seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently yeah this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well and they've got so many different ways that they can play on the floor that's what makes them so successful well that <laughs> and Giannis Milwaukee has gone five of six from three-point land so far on to Kumpo with it Durant covering Shoots from 14. Anadokounmpo. Bam. Anadokounmpo has got seven points here in the quarter. The offensive arsenal of Giannis continuing to expand over time. This guy is a wrecking ball. Ooh, lots of contact on the shot. So two free throws will follow that whistle. Well, you look at Seth Curry. For his career, around 44% from long range. That's easily top five in NBA history. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. And Seth Curry, one of the elite shooters in league history. But his road to the NBA was no red carpet, Grant. So true. I mean, after graduating from Duke in 2013, a couple years in the G League proving himself, the questions were about his defense. But that stroke was never in question. Matthews, he's checked in for Milwaukee. So he gets them both. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line. And he's great at cashing them in. Three-pointer. 
and the box hit again from deep. When he has enough space, he's more than comfortable letting it fly from outside. Outside Irving, driving to the basket. before the shot clock expires. Irving's got eight. It's the focus and the execution by Kyrie, refusing to be deterred on that drive with an amazing finish. Holiday finds Allen. Offline with a three. The Nets have gone three of five since the beginning of the second. Pass to Irving. Back to Durant. Second quarter. Durant draws the double. Outside Curry. Launches a three. Rebound, Milwaukee. 151 left to play in the first half. Holiday passes to Middleton. Shoots over Curry. And no good. And Brooklyn going the other way now. Pass to Irving. to Simmons. Here's O'Neal. On the wing, Irving. Screen by O'Neal. Unloads. Again, the net score. At this point in his career, look, Kyrie knows who he is, and that, that's a shot he wants to take. Now here's Allen. Portis, the pass to Middleton. This one for three. He drops it from range. He's got nine. Well, it's certainly been a roller coaster ride. If you do me one, I'll do you one better. It feels like we have a lead change every few possessions. Durant, Irving for three, sinks it from distance. Irving's got seven now in this quarter. When you play with stars like LeBron, Harden, KD, look, Kyrie has learned how to operate off the ball. Portis the screen. From downtown, knocks down the long J. <laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You train a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Here's Durant. Irving for three. And that comes off the assist by Durant. Durant's got three assists in the game. When it comes to the offensive end of the floor, there is one guy you can count on, and that's Kyrie Irving. He knows how to find shots and make an impact on that end of the floor. Pass to Matthews. Portis the screen. Matthews misses. Here's Simmons. And slam dunk by Simmons. A sensational athlete. I like when Simmons rises up with confidence and jams it through. And so a close game as we wrap up the first half of play. That's out in front, leading by three. And we'll be right back after halftime for the start of the third quarter. See you in just a bit. As we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard. Well, you look at Kyrie Irving in this game, he's been everywhere. Yeah, they've done an amazing job of creating room to operate for him. And then, of course, executing. I like how they came into this one with a game plan, and they're just going out and executing a terrific job. Kicking off the second half, here's Mike Budenholzer's five. Giannis and Lopez are the bigs. Matthews and Middleton on the wing, and it's Holiday in at the point guard position. And the front office for Brooklyn has said they need selfless players who want to be there and are available. Well, B.A., the message is pretty clear. That the Kyrie Irving missed most of last year due to personal choices, the Nets want all hands on deck this go-around. Let's go now to the sideline and catch up with Allie LaForce. 
Thanks a lot. Well, Giannis Antetokounmpo has won MVPs, Defensive Player of the Year, and a championship. But he says, quote, I am not satisfied. As the leader of this team, that's the tone I set. I don't care about trophies. I care about getting better. And that's what I've done my entire career. Brian, he stays focused. Nose to the grindstone, Allie. Thanks for that. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. RJ, you were in the middle of a few trades in your career, to put it lightly. What's that like as a player to get moved around so much? Thanks for bringing that up so sweetly, Brian. I appreciate that. <laughs> Look, there's pros and cons to this. It's nice to know that another organization wants you for whatever reason, but it's also tough to leave an organization that you had a connection to, the fan base. But eventually, you figure it out. So Ana de Kumpo nails both of them. You got to love Giannis' commitment to delivering a superstar performance for his team. The effort he puts out on the floor really can't be overstated. Trying to go for a lob there. Excellent defense and anticipation to stop it. And the foul on Ben Simmons. That'll be a second foul of the game. Team second. Brooklyn on D. It's a three-point game. Pass to Middleton. Six to shoot. It's tough to get a good look over Durant. He covers a lot of ground defensively with that 7-5 wingspan. And there's Simmons on the assist by Irving. And the Nets lead by five. A quality pass setting up a quality shot. It's just textbook basketball. Holiday, a screen on Simmons. On to Kumpo. Bam. And the balance Giannis has. Outstanding job taking the contact and finishing despite it. Holiday against Irving. Oh, he can't miss. Eight for eight after that shot. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Warren's checked in for Brooklyn. The Bucks also with a sub. Connaughton's checked in. Third quarter of play with just over one and a half minutes gone by. In a league with the most skilled athletes in the world, Kyrie Irving just stands out. He can do anything with his handle, and he has every finish around the hoop. And the three-pointer goes. Middleton's got 12 points in the game. Yeah, as good as anyone on the catch and shoot, Middleton deposits another J. Outside Warren. Back to Irving, and they doubled up Irving. Here's Warren. Outside Curry from the arc. And the Nets, another three. That was just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. A little under two and a half minutes gone by in the third quarter. Middleton outside. The three ball. Claxton with a rebound. Talking about Kyrie. I'll put you on the spot here, Richard. Is he the most skilled current NBA player? Yes, without a doubt. He is the most skilled current NBA player. And it's really him and then everyone else. Because it's the efficiency in which he can do it. And you did put me on the spot. Obviously, Steph has handles on a shot. The beard can do some crazy stuff also. But Kyrie is my top. Connaughton outside. The three is up. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Holiday. Holiday's got three assists now in this one. Outside Curry. Back to Irving. With the floater. He misses there. His first of the game. Nine for ten now. Kumpo outside. Holiday against Irving. Out 
Aracumpo. That's good. Aracumpo's got 19 points. And Holiday takes this responsibility seriously. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to them. Simmons with it. And he lobs it up top. Hammers the lob through. A beautiful setup on the alley-oop. Great catch, great flush. Holiday against Irving. Holiday passes to Middleton. The three. The rebound by the Nets. Outside Simmons. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. And now a six-point Brooklyn lead. The paint is where Simmons excels at finding points. He knows how to own the inside. Outside Holiday. Pass to Juan de Kumpo. Kicks it out to Middleton. 4 3. Good. And Juan de Kumpo gets the assist. Middleton's got 15. I'll tell you what, I mean, it feels like Middleton can shoot from anywhere, but he's especially deadly from the corner. Timeout called. Brooklyn. Seconds left in the third quarter. Pass to Durant. Takes a three. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got ten. Slick shot by Durant. Gets the pass and is in his motion a second later. Durant against Anadokounmpo. And here's Allen. Kicks it out to Anadokounmpo. And here's Connaughton for three. Oh! Target from range. Jonathan's got six in the quarter. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Drops in the three. And the Nets lead by six. What a ruthless move by Durant. Dealing a big blow to the opponent's morale with that three-point answer. Hill finds Ana de Kumpo. It counts! And the foul! It goes on Kevin Durant. Oh, unreal play to take on the contact and get it to go. Shooting one. misses and a great show through three quarters as we enter the fourth who will carry the day it's the Nets they're up by four and time for a short break stay right there the fourth quarter is coming up next we take a look at our State Farm assist of the game. Talk about painting a magnificent picture with that, Don. Just a great decision and a perfect delivery. A lot of times a spectacular pass is more impressive than a spectacular shot. This is one of those times. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. Harrison Durant in as the forwards. Then it's Edmund Sumner, then it's Royce O'Neal, and it's Thomas in at the two. So that's the lineup for Brooklyn. Brooklyn has gone seven of nine from three-point range so far. 
Duran against Hill. Back to Sumner. Five on the clock. Durant for three. And the Nets, another three. Yeah, he's in his bag from beyond the arc right now. You see his confidence. And, of course, it helps space the floor, which gives this offense more room to operate. Allen, the pass to Connaughton. Unable to get that one. Ooh, Durant with some nice D. Here's Thomas, covered by Connaughton. Outside Durant. Fires, top of the key. And again, it's Brooklyn. Okay, I'm going to tell you something that everyone knows or should know. When Durant turns it on, there is no slowing him down. That's how lethal of a scorer he is in NBA history. Timeout called. Milwaukee. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Middleton comes in for Connaughton. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Hill. All right, let's check in with Allie LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. He's been really discouraged by their effort. He said, quote, it's about want to, fighting through the adversity. Look at yourselves and ask, quote, what can I do to help us win? He's laying down the challenge. Allie, thank you. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Warren. Gets the three to fall. Middleton's got nine points now in the second half. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. Absolutely, and they have to continue to go to him. Holiday against Irving. Fires at the elbow. And again, it's Brooklyn. This man has entered the zone. Great shooting performance from him all game long. Pass to Anadokounmpo. We're in the fourth quarter here. Just under two and a half minutes gone by. And Allen gets it to go. Three. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Throws it up high! Oh, deflected. Anadokounmpo against Irving. Here's Anadokounmpo. Middleton outside. Outside Holiday. Allen on the wing. Middleton outside. Shot clock at six. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Warren. Sinks the trade! And now it's just a two-point Nets lead. You know, and with a rare combination of length and shooting, Chris Middleton is a bucket. Irving against Holiday. Over to the wing. Outside Curry. Oh, he powers right through the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul, too. And he'll go to the line. That's on Brook Lopez. Second and a chance to catch up on some numbers foul. here. The scoring breakdown for Brooklyn. The and the Bucks making a change here. Matthews checked in. One time. And the free throw, no good. Ana de Kumpo with it. Warren covering. Here's Holiday. Good. And Ana de Kumpo gets the assist. Ana de Kumpo's got his fourth assist in this one. The Nets have got all four shots to go in this final quarter. Time called here. The Nets decide to talk it over now. And something fans don't always get to see. Some of the closely guarded secrets that happen in that huddle. And we see it so often. One little tweak to the game plan and everything falls into place for a team. The most confident fans Let's go! It's teacher time!
played just over three and a half minutes now in the fourth quarter. Now here's Curry. Defense right on him. Outside Irving. And he gets that one. Irving's got 24 points. That is a huge shot from Kyrie Irving. That is a huge shot from Kyrie Irving. This is why his team turns to him in these moments. Trust me, I know. Anacupo can't connect. The Nets have gotten off to a perfect 5 for 5 so far in the fourth. Curry uses the glass to finish the layup. Now it's a six point Nets lead. This has been the story of the game. A battle fought on offense. Yeah, but I think it's going to come down to who can get the stops down the stretch because that's who's going to come away with this one. From deep, Matthews misses. That was a good possession. They got a clean look. The shot just didn't fall. Holiday against Warren. Now here's Irving. Shot clock at five. Steps back and fires. Rebound, Milwaukee. It all comes down to this possession. They must get points. Anything other than a mate is game over. This is where you lean on your stars to get you to the finish line. <laughs> and he is just showing off right now. He's giving you leadership. Giannis just takes pride in stepping up and hitting those big shots. Here's Irving. Lays out. Lopez with the steal. On to Kumpo inside. Simmons defending. Yes! Talk about stepping up in a big way. What a huge play coming through when it matters most. To the paint. Irving for three. Oh, the trifecta! Nobody better to have the ball right here. I think everybody remembers that Kyrie hit the biggest shot in NBA history. Timeout called the Bucks. Timeout Milwaukee. They're down by five. And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the fourth. Durant, he's checked in for Warren. Another spectacular show from the Brooklynets. Simmons. Anacumpo, left side. Pass to Holiday. Off the mark there with a three. And he commits the intentional foul. His third personal foul. Team seconds. Nine seconds left in the fourth quarter. And so they choose to intentionally foul. good and that increases the lead to six and just the total offensive package Kyrie is a once in a generation guard and he hits both free throws here and it's a seven point game on to Kumpo for three and he can't get that one This one belongs to Brooklyn. I'm sure they would have preferred a blowout victory, but a win's a win. 
And, and so true, but you have to credit the crowd for giving them such a big boost toward the end. It really kept this team's energy high. Well, now we have some time to check in with Allie LaForce. Allie. Katie, you were able to clamp down defensively as the game wore on. What was the key there? Well, we stay patient. We can touch the shots. They hit some tough ones early on. And I think in a pick and roll, we made a solid adjustment. And uh, we turned that around. Coach did it, made a great adjustment, and we was able to get rebounds and go. The patience was so important. It paid off. Thanks, Katie. Thanks, Allie. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. Now our new balance player of the game, Kyrie Irving.